Welcome. So we have here three charges, A, B, and C. We want to find the net electric field from them at point P if these are the given charges. So we've done an initial sketch, and we can continue our sketch by drawing the R vectors, RA, RB, and RC, as the path from each of these charges to the point. And we can draw if we want the electric field that they'll generate, but this is much more important. In our organized step then, we want to write out the electric field equation just in a general sense, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, Q over R squared, R hat. And what we need to find then is for each of these charges, we need to find their charge, their R squared, and their R hat. Charge we already have, nicely enough. R squared and R hat, though, we get by finding their R vector, which is just Rx i hat plus Ry j hat. So let's show this for A. For R sub A, I have to find the x direction I have to go. So I have to go a total of 8 centimeters in the positive direction. So I'm going to have 8 centimeters plus i hat. And then I need to go 6 centimeters up, so plus 6 centimeters positive j hat. So I can find my Ra squared by doing 8 squared plus 6 squared, 64 plus 36 gives me 100 centimeters squared. So then I can also say that my magnitude of Ra is 10 centimeters. Now I need to find the R hat for A. So R A hat. The hat or the unit vector is the vector itself divided by its magnitude. And because I did all this, I can just write it out. If I didn't do all this, then I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to find R hat even at all. So I have 8 centimeters I hat plus 6 centimeters J hat over 10 centimeters, and I can cancel the centimeters, right? Because our unit vector should be unitless. And then we have 8i hat plus 6j hat over 10. Excellent. Let's take a look at B. So RB, I go 0 in the x direction. I'm already just above, so 0i hat. Don't even have to write it if I don't want to. And then I'm going a distance of 6 centimeters, but down. So I have 6 centimeters, negative j hat. So Rb squared is going to be 6 centimeters squared, which is 36 centimeters squared. Or the magnitude of Rb is going to be 6 centimeters, which gives Rb hat is the Rb vector over the magnitude of Rb. 6 centimeters negative j hat over 6 centimeters. And we can see the centimeters cancels, but so does the 6. And so my rb hat is actually just negative j hat. So lastly, we have r sub c. And r sub c, I'm still going 8 centimeters in the x direction, but now I'm going negative. So 8 centimeters minus i hat. I'm still going up 6 centimeters, so plus 6 centimeters positive j hat. So then I'm going to have the exact same rc squared, 100 centimeters squared, and my same rc magnitude, 10 centimeters. And then so my rc hat is going to be this vector, 8 centimeters negative i hat plus 6 centimeters positive j hat over 10 centimeters. So again, I have my centimeters canceling. Oops. My centimeters canceling down here. And now for each of these objects, I have Q, R squared, and R hat. So I can go through my solve step. So I can find the electric field of A is going to be my k, or 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, 9 times 
10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. My charge plus 5 nanocoulombs over my r squared distance. So I could do 100 centimeters squared, but I kind of want to convert centimeter squared to meter squared. So I have to introduce 10 to the negative 4, or this is then 10 to the negative 2 meter squared. And then we then have to have my r hat, 8i hat plus 6j hat over 10. So calculating this, I can find that my Ea is 450 newtons per coulomb times 8i hat plus 6j hat. And I could do right better, but this will be nice for now. Then I can find my E sub b. Still have 9 times 10 to the 9th newton meter squared per coulomb squared. And now my Q sub b is negative 5 nanocoulombs. And then I have 36 times 10 to the negative 4 meter squared. And then I just have negative j hat. So when I do this, I get still the 450 newtons per coulomb, but then I also have negative 1,000 over 36. And we'll get a, a better number of this, but we just want to have everything in terms of 450 so we can factor it out. And then we can do, again, right, canceling of these two negative signs. But we don't need to just yet. And then we have E sub C is going to be just as we had, right? 9 times 10 to the 9th newton meter squared per coulomb squared. Negative 5 nanocoulombs over 10 to the negative 2 meter squared. And then I've got my R sub C, negative 8 I hat plus 6 J hat over 10. And so I'm going to get, right, a very similar result as A, just that now I have it in the negative i hat direction. So 450 newtons per coulomb, negative 8. And then I have this negative sign here, <coughs> negative 8 i hat plus 6 j hat. So I've got all of this, and now I can find the net electric field. My net electric field is then just going to be the electric field from A plus the electric field from B plus the electric field from C. After I found these all out, right, I can just do a simple sum of them. So why did I do a little bit of weird math here? So I could factor out this 450 newtons per coulomb. And if I do that, then I have 8i hat plus 6j hat. And then I have negative times negative is just positive. So then plus 1,000 over 36 j hat. And then negative negative gives me a plus 8i hat. Negative positive gives me a negative 6j hat. Well, this positive 6 and this negative 6 will cancel. The 8s will add to each other. And then the 1,000 divided by 36 just gives us a number. So when we multiply everything by 450 newtons per coulomb, I'm going to get 7,200 newtons per coulomb i hat plus 12,500 newtons per coulomb j hat. So. Sketching to make sure we understand is very important. The new and the uh, scary step is finding these vectors. Once we found these vectors, right, it's very easy. We just find the x direction and find the y direction and write them down. Once we've had them written down, it's very easy to then find the squares and the hats. We can't forget these hats. Otherwise, we're just adding up scalars, and electric fields add up as vectors, not as scalars.